I am actually filming this, um, what day is it, it's Tuesday, so I'm just waiting for my uh, video to upload that was Monday and Tuesday, and this is probably going to go up if I upload this tomorrow, so it's tomorrow's video. I'm really struggling this evening, today, but this evening mainly, um, for a variety of reasons. Um, everything that's going on with everything is hard. Um, you know, I'm worrying about Edie getting ill. I'm worrying about Edie's birthday. Um, I'm worried about being able to feed my child. I'm worried about me getting ill and not being able to look after my child. I'm worried about my family getting ill. Um, but I'm, I've got all of that in my head, but I've also got all of the usual mental shit in my head. and. That's what's crippling me this evening, I think. Um, I had I had a breakdown, a mini breakdown, a few weeks ago. I had a bit of a breakdown after my birthday, as I, I think I've mentioned on here. Um, because birthdays are difficult for me. Um, just... As you get older, you know, yes, we think everyone's always getting older, but for me, it kind of is. I've got that reminder of the fact that there's like a massive two decade gap in my life where I achieved nothing. I was in and out of hospital, um, I was in bed. I've got, you know, I, I've got, you know, very, very few friends because of that gap. Um, I've got, issues with myself like I don't because I didn't go through a lot of the usual life experiences that people go through I sometimes doubt myself and I, I, I don't know what I like what I don't like and that sort of thing um it sounds silly but um but the biggest thing is the fact that if you didn't know I've been a musician I've written songs all my life um when I've had periods of good health, like in my late teens, early twenties, I was doing a lot of auditioning and I worked with a few producers. I went down to London and stuff and I I was part of a girl band for a very brief period of time, literally. I got into the band and I met the other girls and then they said they didn't want me in the band. So that was very brief, different things. Um, and obviously I made the album that I made a few years ago um, and if I hadn't have gotten ill when I did, I fell ill when I was 13, music was something that I wanted to pursue, a career in either musical theatre or songwriting and performing my own stuff, either that's what I would have wanted to pursue, um, and I didn't, I couldn't because I was ill, I was been ill, I'm 35 now, so and because of my health problems, it's not something that I can really pursue. Um, but the thing that I've, the thing that I've struggled with is, um, it doesn't just tie in with the music stuff, but it ties in with me as a person, is validation. Um, validation that I actually do have a talent. I do have something to give, something to offer. That's in terms of the music stuff. And then in terms of like personal stuff, like I've never had a successful, healthy relationship. So validation in myself as a human being, like the people want to spend time with me and be with me and all of that. Um, it goes a lot deeper than that. But that's been a lot on my mind recently because, and it kind of, as a result, it leaves me feeling completely and utterly worthless. This is Edie aside. I know that I'm you know, I'm doing my best as a, as a mum to Edie and she completes my life and she's great. But I have a two, as I said, I've got a two decade gap in my life, big black hole. And, you know, Edie's gonna leave home and all of that. And I, without her, I'm, I was going to say without her I'm nothing, I can't put all of that on her, but it kind of is true, um, you know, 
it's just oh it sounds so like with everything going on in the world at the moment does this really fucking matter and it doesn't but it does because it's you know why i cry myself to sleep every night and it's why there's like this aching pain in my stomach that will never go away because i can't take back that time and you know i can change things in the future i could try things make opportunities for myself but it's when you've had no validation or no i have i don't have any confidence in myself so having that validation is is important to me um telling a story through music is all i ever wanted to do like i think it probably stems from no one listening to me um for so many years that get having having my words heard through music was very important to me and because writing was the only thing that i was ever good at um if i was good at it again it's fucking the head fuck um oh i've cried all my eye cream off so yeah it's it's um shit it's hard every day i go through like a wave of having a tiny bit of belief in myself and then completely and utterly shattered like this evening like and because that was all i was ever okay at if i take if that belief gets taken away then i literally feel like i'm flawed yeah this no who gives a shit about this like who cares nobody gives a shit nobody gives a shit um oh so this is probably going to be a video that nobody wants to watch nobody will watch i don't even know if i'm ever going to upload it um but it's real it's what what i'm doing it's what i am it's what i'm feeling i know dexter um so yeah if this does make it up then i remember i uploaded a video years ago and i was like crying in it and i got a load of messages from people saying that was a really ugly cry and so, true i am um i don't need anyone to tell me i'm ugly i know that i'm ugly i know that i'm fat i don't need I know that. I hope you're all having a better day than me. Wow. I was a miserable last night. Um, it is, I don't know what the day, it's Wednesday. So it's the next day after what you've just watched. Um, I wasn't going to upload that, but then I was like, you know what? It's, it's real. It's what I go through most days at some point. And this channel, I've always tried to be real and raw, even if it wasn't pretty and watchable and interesting, because it's just, you know, it's what I'm doing, it's what it's me. <laughs> not pretty, not interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling a bit saner today. Not saner, I'm feeling a bit more level today. Um, I managed to work on a song that I've been trying to finish for three years um it's a song that i started writing when um i was going through a rough time no but can i say this yes i can because it's my video uh, when my boyfriend at the time was using drugs and it made me feel worthless and like i wasn't enough for him um, and yeah, and he didn't realise that it was about him and he was helping me, um, work on it, which was ironic, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to finish that song because it's probably my favourite song I've ever written. It doesn't have a name at the moment. It's called PPPC because that stands for PP Pants City because at the time I was writing it, we were watching The Walking Dead and Negan talks about Pee Pee Pants City. Um, if you watch it, you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, and there is a line in there based on something that Negan said. <laughs> it doesn't make much sense. It makes sense in my head. Um, it's like, it's my favourite song I've ever written, by far, I think. Um, it's completely different to what I normally do and how I normally write, which is why I think I like it. Um, so I've worked a little bit. I've, I've have didn't have had different versions of it over the years, and I've decided. By the way, I know I touch my face a lot. I'll touch on that in a minute. Um, it's a song I've worked a lot on over the year, over the last few years, and had different versions of. And I had gotten to a place where I was like, yeah, this is the version I want to go forward with. But it had some of some guitar on that my ex had done, and um, a it was out of time. It wasn't very good, um, and b I didn't want him on it. It's my song, so um, yeah, I've redone it all, and this is a more stripped back version of it. Um, it's with piano, and I quite like it. Um, I don't know which one, if it'll ever hit, see the light of day, but yeah. I know I touch, I should touch on, and my sister tells me off for this a lot because of, you know, germs and everything. I know I touch my face a lot. It's an anxiety thing. Um, like, I know I do that all the time. I've got clean hands, as you can see, like literally they're being soaked and antibacked all the time. So I'm clean, but I do that a lot. And I know I do that a lot, but... Um, I am going to, Edie's going to wake up any minute now because she's stirring, so I'm going to finish this video and I will see you soon. Thank you, and I'm so sorry for being so miserable last night, but as I said, and oh, again, I didn't want to upload it because of everything that's going on in the world. It's like, it, it's completely irrelevant. It's shallow, well, it's not shallow, but it's it's irrelevant. There's a million times think bigger things going on in the world, but this is me uploading something every day and that was something that happened and yeah I wanted to I wanted to kind of show that so yeah I will see you soon I'm sorry for talking a load of shit